Hey guys, welcome back to La Density Hair Transplant Center. Myself, Dr. Gajanan Jadav. Today, we are going to discuss about a new topic which is called QR678 NEO. So, what exactly QR678 stands for? QR is a quick response. So, we everybody want to have our treatment to be done in a fast way. Like, suppose I am missing some hair fall, I need a quick results. So, something new has come in the uh, hair transplantation industry called QR678 where we are trying to inject uh, stem cells or you can say uh, some growth factors into our existing hair follicle which are weakened over the period of time and which can be regenerate, recovered or you can say regrowth with the help of some injections called QR678. Exactly it helps or it doesn't help. What is the criteria? how many injections needed, what is the interval. So all these things we are going to discuss in today's video. So QR678 basically consists of some stem cells uh, which are essential to grow our hair. See everybody knows that everybody faces hair fall but everybody doesn't get bald. Why? Because our hair goes into a regrowth phase like that is called anagen phase. When your telogen phase, that means the shedding phase, gets over, our hair goes into an anagen phase, that is called regrowth phase of hair cycle. If it doesn't go, then there is a problem of baldness arises, or you can see an excessive hair fall. Why this is happening? Because there might not be a good stimulus to go into a regrowth phase. So what QR is doing? is trying to inject a growth factor or stimulus or a stem cell factor into a hair root where you can push your hair from telogen phase to an anagen phase. So what it consists of? It basically consists of some vascular endothelial growth factors, insulin like growth factors, keratinocyte which is essential that is also there as well as some fibroblast growth factors. So this consists of so many things along with some essential amino acids so that once we are injected into the roots in intradermally so it is within the skin when we inject this molecule it start promoting the hair growth it will reduce your existing hair fall and it will start growing your existing hair follicle in a thickness as well as in the length it will not work where it is completely bald. Suppose somebody is completely bald, if you try to inject these molecules, it will not work because it has to work in existing hair fall. So when we inject at an interval of three to four weeks for the five months, we can expect good quality results. So what is the quantity? It's just one ml you have to inject at 40 to 50 sites. Then you need to take a gap between three to four weeks and then again you have to repeat. So consecutive 5 injections or maximum 8 injections are needed to achieve a good hair growth. So this is the new molecule we are trying, I have tried on myself, you can also try. Let's join again with the new hair uh, remedies, new hair molecules, till then bye bye.